So every day um, I ride to work on on this on this scooter, um, and riding a scooter has lots of disadvantages, like it's cold and it's wet, um, and um, it's just horrible generally, right? But it does have one advantage, and that is the view. Look at that. Hello and welcome to Kangaroo English. I'm Christian and today I am going to teach you the best way to learn vocabulary. So to start this class I am not going to mess around. I'm going to write down immediately the best way to learn vocabulary, okay? There is no best way, okay? Anybody, anybody who tells you that they have the best technique for learning vocabulary or the best method for learning vocabulary, okay, is lying. There is no best technique or best way. Everybody is different. Everybody learns in different ways. So you need to find the technique or techniques that work for you. So today I am going to talk a little bit about some techniques that are very common, that probably you know already and maybe you use already. But also I'm going to talk about some techniques that are a little bit more strange, a little bit more abstract. Um, and hopefully some of these will help you. Today, today I'm going to write, write things down. I feel, I feel righty today. Basically, I think that a lot of people look at learning vocabulary as, um, as a horrible thing. You know, like you have to write lists and you have to study and memorize and it's a, this is a horrible, um, a horrible way of thinking about learning vocabulary. So I think my first, my first technique is basically to, to get interested in vocabulary. Actually, vocabulary is absolutely fascinating. When you're reading a text and you see a word, you can ask, well, why? Um, where did this word come from? Um, are there other related words? Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. So imagine that you are reading a book and for the first time you see the word wheel. Um, and you don't know what a wheel is, so you look in the dictionary and you discover that this is a wheel, right? Here we have lots of different types of wheels. Okay, fine. But now it's interesting because a wheel is a very important discovery for humans. And a wheel exists um, in the world in lots of different places. So now, with this, this word wheel as a base, I can learn lots of new vocabulary. For example, what is this? Well, this is a wheel chair because it's a chair with wheels. And then, of course, when, when you're driving your car, you have this, um, which is, yeah, it's round. Um, it's a wheel, a steering wheel. I have uh, some more vocabulary. Uh, okay, so what about this? Um, this is when a person um, does a gymnastic thing like this. Um, this is called a cartwheel. Um, because it looks like the wheel of a cart. And then, of course, we have all of the idioms in English relating to wheel. Um, for example, if you are in control of something, we say you are at the wheel. Because you're controlling the car, you're controlling something. And also, of course, sometimes in life, you don't know what you are going to receive. If you're going to get good things or bad things. And we call this the wheel of fortune. So basically using a, a, a word like, like wheel, a very simple word, I can expand my vocabulary. Um, it's easy for me to remember <clears throat> and it's interesting, it's fun. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you about another technique, okay? This technique is called the method of loci. Um, 
Also, this technique is called the memory palace. And basically, what you're doing is you're combining your visual memory with your vocabulary memory together, okay? So, how it works is, in your mind, you visualize a place which you are very familiar with. A place which you know very well, like maybe your bedroom, or your house, or your office. So you visualize a place that you know. And then, you um, visualize specific places in this place. So for example, maybe in my office, I remember my computer, my printer, my filing cabinet, and my desk. Okay? One, two, three, four places. Now, imagine I want to remember four new words in English. So, I want to remember um, wheel, and I want to remember chair, uh, and I want to remember car, um, and I want to remember water. So, when I think about my computer, I put a wheel in that position. I visualize something with the computer related to a wheel. Like, for example, maybe my computer has a wheel stuck in the screen. Or maybe my computer has a, a wheel to control it. So I visualize this. And then I move to, move to the printer and I want to remember a chair. So now I visualize myself sitting on the printer, using the printer like a chair. Then the filing cabinet, I want to remember car. So I can visualize um, maybe a little, a little toy car on, the, on top of the cabinet, okay? And then my desk, I want to remember water. So maybe I will visualize when I touch my desk, my hands are wet with the water, okay? And then when I want to remember the vocabulary, I just, I can walk, I can walk through my office walk through my office and remember these, um, these, these words. So I close my eyes and I think about the computer with the wheel, okay, wheel. And then I go here, sitting on the printer, okay, chair. And then I go to the filing cabinet, I can see the little car, the car. And then here, ah, my desk is water, okay. So, this is an interesting and fun way to remember new words. Um, and if you are a very visual person, this can really help you a lot. <clears throat> um, also, there are lots of games that you can buy, very simple games, um, that you can buy or that you can make at home to help you with vocabulary. So, one of them is a game like this. So basically you have a, you have a, a, a headband, Okay, so, um, and then you have cards with vocabulary, like monkey. So, you put this on, okay, like this. <laughs> so now I am a monkey, and you, you play with a friend, okay, you play with a friend, and you ask questions to try and discover what's on your card. So, am I brown? Mm, do I have four legs? Mm, do I live in trees? Uh, I'm a monkey! <laughs> you could make this yourself. You can... You can, uh... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. This, this is the simple technique, okay? This is if, if you have no resources, okay? So we write monkey... Here's monkey, okay? I lick, I back, and then stick, okay? Here. This costs basically nothing. <laughs> or another game that you could play is, is this game here, which is Taboo. So basically, how it works is, you have to describe this word here at the top without using any of these words, which are related. Um, and this is actually quite difficult. Um, and it's really good to help you practice describing things in other ways and expanding your vocabulary. Like, for example, could you describe sad without unhappy and without cry? and without tears, and without miserable. So another way to learn vocabulary 
and I think this is my favorite, is etymology, okay? Etymology is the study of where words came from, the origin of words. Um, and I think that this is really fascinating and really helps me to remember vocabulary. So have a look at an example. So this is um, eyeliner. This is makeup for, for women. Um, and this is called kol. Um, and this comes from the Arabic word alcohol. Um, because alcohol means basically the essence of something, something pure. Um, and this is where we get the English word alcohol. So um, there are lots of different types of alcohol. Um, for example, we have vodka. Um, this comes from the Russian word voda, which means water. This is basically very strong water. Um, of course, another type of alcohol is uh, this, which is champagne. Um, this comes from the French word campagne, which means country, because this is wine from the country. Campagne comes from the Latin campus, which means country. Um, and in the past, what did we do in the country? Well, normally we had wars uh, in the country. Um, so battles were also called campaigns. And if you won the battle, then you were the champion or the champion in English. Um, another thing, of course, that we do in the country is we camp. Now imagine that you are a soldier um, and you are in a tent for weeks and weeks and all you want is to go out and see some women. <laughs> so you would go ex campare, you would leave the camp and ex campare is where we get the English verb to scamper. So you can see that by, by taking a simple object and thinking about the origins of this word it relates to lots of different vocabulary and we can expand our vocabulary um, in a fun and exciting way and, and some of the stories about where English idioms came from are very funny. So <clears throat> we, have, we have an idiom in English let the cat out of the bag and let the cat out of the bag means to reveal a secret okay reveal a secret and the origin is basically in medieval times people would go to the market and buy baby pigs um, and then they would feed the pigs and the pigs would be fat and they would eat the pigs but baby pigs were very expensive so sometimes you would buy a pig okay from from the market but then when you were distracted when you weren't looking the person selling the pig would substitute the bags and give you a bag with a cat not a pig <laughs> and then you took your bag to your house and then you get to your house and you open the bag to to see a cat not a pig <laughs> and so you have let the cat out of the bag the secret has been revealed stories like this you know um, are not only entertaining but they help me to remember things um, because it's not just vocabulary okay it's a whole part of the culture and 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 part of the the the, the language the texture of the language also you can use a thesaurus which is basically a dictionary of synonyms and even this name thesaurus is interesting right because this comes from the Greek which means treasure this is a treasure of, of, of words okay a treasure chest of words but also there are lots of dinosaurs with saurus right like tyrannosaurus um, but that's not related. Saurus in Greek meant lizard. So a Tyrannosaurus is a lizard tyrant. So there's a new word, a tyrant. A tyrant is a horrible person. Anyway, you could use um, a, a printed thesaurus like this. But actually, I like the online thesaurus. So for example, here is the word sad. Um, and we can see here all of the synonyms of sad 
like bitter, heartbroken, melancholy. And here we have two fantastic options. We have common ones or informal ones. So let's look at some informal ones. Okay, so for example, blue. Wow, that's fantastic. I'm feeling blue. And you know, of course, as always, try to make um, your learning of vocabulary related to things that you are interested in. You know, every every subject, um, if it's uh, fishing or cars or, or sports, they are rich in vocabulary that you can use for things. So imagine that you are interested in boats. Okay, so here, um, here I have a picture of a boat, um, and you can see that the top, the top of the boat, this is called the deck. We have lots of vocabulary in English related to to deck, like. If somebody is throwing things at you, you hit the deck. You go down, hit the deck. Or if you have to clean your house a lot, we say you are scrubbing the deck. And also, if you need a lot of help, you can say, I need all hands on deck. This, this part of the boat here is called the keel. The job of the keel is to stabilize the boat to stop the boat from moving like this. Um, so if you are a very calm person, or it's a very calm situation, you say, we have an even keel. An even keel. And then there, are, there, are, there is other vocabulary related to boats. For example, the ocean. Uh, on the ocean you have waves. Whoosh, waves. And, for example, if you are uh, very successful, you can say, I am riding a wave of success. If you have a lot of something at once, like maybe um, you have an online shop, you can have a wave of orders. Or um, if there's a big event in your city, there can be a wave of people. Every subject in the world has vocabulary linked that you can learn that's interesting to you. So my final piece of advice um, is this. Use it. Use the vocabulary. Use it or lose it. Okay? All of the scientific research shows us that if you don't use the vocabulary then you will forget it. Okay? You can use all of these techniques to help you remember vocabulary, but if you memorize it, but you don't use it, it will disappear, okay? So try to incorporate your new vocabulary in your conversations, um, in your emails, in your writing exams. Um, I have word of the day, vulpine. Vulpine is uh, from the Latin vulpus, which means fox. So it's, um, things related to being like a fox, very sneaky and suspicious. So today I need to find an opportunity to use this word so that I will remember it for the future. I hope that there are no vulpine people watching this video today. <laughs> I really hope that in this video you have learnt some, some new techniques for memorizing vocabulary. Um, if you would like to see any more videos about the English language, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in class. Bye.